Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. I still have another, I think, four Fortnite reviews to do. But before I go into doing more Fortnite again, it's been a Fortnite heavy week or so, I want to look at these bad boys I picked up here in China. Now, the originals are by Chap May, and these, I guess, have the license from Chap May or their knockoffs, but they are. Decent looking for your 118 scale fantasy. They are obviously taller than your 3.75 or 4 inches, but they look really good. And the paintwork on these toys is really good, you know. It's like some proper good paint apps on this, considering it's not been professionally painted. Of course, you add to it, it look even better. So, it, uh, if I look on the bottom, it looks like there are two types with a variation in each one, but it's not ticked. So, I don't know what I've got here, but... Uh, let's open these up, put my box cut and see what they're like. Doesn't say much, just says Dragon Devildom Contend. The best welcome gifts for the children, vivid and great in style, once owned nothing can instead. Uh, on a side, creative ability, mental ability, emotional satisfaction and coordination ability. Not sure how that happens on this. Not much else on there. I don't think there's anything inside the actual packaging, but I could be mistaken. This other one cut open as well since I've put the knife out already. Okay, can I just cut out or how? Let me see. Oh no, there's some plastic where his feet were. Why was that underneath? Oh, for the ties, I see. Okay, nothing else there. I'm assuming it's the same on this guy here. No, he did have that plastic. How peculiar. You can look at this guy while I'm cutting this one out of his uh, prison. And I'll swap you over. Okay, all done. So, let's have a look. Look at the guys by the camera first. Really good paint up. You can see there as well on the legs where it's got the shading, the highlighting. Like some dry brush really well. I'm not sure about having the green fingertips. It looks like he might have some sort of special action with his arm, but that arm is really, really loose. Um, wings, oh, his waist turns. Wings should, yeah, so his wings go up. And down, which is nice. Uh, so the arm, this one. Is there a special is there an action feature? I don't know, because that arm doesn't go any higher, but it feels like it's connecting it to something. This one is just a free arm, but is I think the originals had a club, but there's no club with these. The jaw doesn't open and close, unfortunately. The head does do this. Oh, he's got a small bit of neck articulation. That feels like it should be more. I'm going to unscrew this bad boy, I think, and have a look inside, because something feels like this should be extra. Uh, waist turns, and that's pretty much it. I am um, considering adding articulation, but the legs would be so difficult with that long piece of plastic there. You're going to have to get some modeling putty to make up some of that joint. Uh, arms, this arm would be quite easy, and this arm, both arms are quite easy to add articulation to. Shoulders... I'd have to open up and look inside. I think the shoulders would be quite difficult, possibly, but it's doable. Waist, nothing actually needed, and the wings can stay as they are. Uh, looks really cool. Uh, no articulation at all in the hips either, but fantastic looking figure. Now, before I compare them to some normal writing scales, let's look at the other, the other one. I really like this one, those buck teeth too, but they, the teeth aren't painted on the insides. So you want to... Add paint in there. So this guy, he is 
Trawler. Yeah, he looks like he's, he looks menacing. You hold it like that, as you can see. Very menacing. Uh, again, it looks like there should be articulation in his head or his jaw, but it's not. Uh, he has neck articulation for turning left and right. Does this guy have that? Only swiveling around, but his neck moves. Uh, his wings again do move, and it's nice that they're different colour. Uh, arms, yeah, swivel up and down. This one's going to come out, it looks like, or break. Let's have a look. Uh, just a swivel. Same with this one. Uh, he doesn't have anything on the waist, but his legs do have a T joint. And he can actually lean forwards quite far as well, which is nice, not just a upright. So I, that looks like it may well be designed because this leg only goes so far. If I get both feet flat, he still balances. It looks even more menacing if you're sort of leaning over like that. And someone very, very nice looking indeed. Articulation, adding elbows to him will be really easy. And uh, it's got some sort of plastic left on there. Um, shoulders have to look inside to see. Kneecaps would be, doing knees on him would be easy too. And ankles would be easy. This guy, more difficult to add ankles on him and very difficult to do the knees or more time consuming. Um, again, I wouldn't add anything to the wings. Again, I'm tempted to unscrew him and look inside to see what the insides are like. He's got a bit of weight. He's heavy. This, this guy feels hollow. So this one might make it awkward to doing internal stuff. But I really, oh, I've got some plastic here still, see that. I really want to see what the other one is like on the um, on the inside. Okay, so let's get these guys their wings down a bit so they're standing close together. Give you a scale of them versus one eighteen. I will use uh, Ruin, who I from Fortnite, who I viewed re very recently, in fact. Uh, let's stick him here. He will be in suggested videos. I'm using Rune because he's fantasy looking. You see they scale really, really well. For fantasy. It's a shame. This, if his hips, if his head could go further upwards, he'd look better. I think his head's a bit too low for my liking. Because his head's like, look, chest height. He wants his head sort of there, and that could be legs or from this neck, which has got. I don't know why they've got extra movement there. Okay, so if I use, uh, let me see. I'll use. Star Wars Black Zero Zeb because it's a different scale. So you get to see what a 112 scale is like against them. And now they start to look a bit small, but they could work a 112 scale, which is not very tall. Killed him. If I use uh, one of the fantasy customs I'm slowly working on, which is a mixture of Fortnite parts, um, again, the same as like the uh, Ruin. In terms of how he scales, as as you expect, because it's the same make, brand, jazz wares, and the same skill. How he scales with these. Again, he will be in suggested videos. Fantastic! I'm really happy I got these. These weren't that expensive. They're quite cheap. You can find them on eBay. Look, just search for Chat Man. Keep searching, and you can find them on eBay. But um, one of them, I think this one is a little bit more expensive than that one. On eBay, it's a little bit expensive. I thought, but I do have one of each of these in UK, which I've got of eBay. Um, but I've not even touched them because I'm stuck here in China. Okay, very, very nice looking figures. I like these a lot. This is Awesome Action Toys. I am signing out saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back to more Awesome Action Toy videos for you. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.